today I'm going to show you how to crochet a face mask adapter with or without any buttons. So as you can see here I crocheted my own buttons um, or you can use plastic buttons and sew them at the, each end. This is a very easy project you can make in a few minutes and you can donate them to those who need them the most and show your support. For this tutorial I am using 100% cotton yarn and the reason for it is because um, it's much suitable for hot summer days, it washes well and it also uh, doesn't stretch as much so you can accurately make your face mask adapter um, to fit you properly. Obviously you can use any kind of yarn you like as long as you have a matching hook. Uh, the pattern is uh, really adaptable and um, uh, I will show you how to make it as big or small as you like. I also use um, a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook and uh, you will also need two buttons, a darning needle to weave in the ends, a sewing thread and sewing needle to sew the buttons to uh, your crochet piece and scissors. If you don't have any buttons, uh, I will show you how to crochet your own buttons out of yarn um, so you won't be needing these. To begin, make a slip knot and then chain 22. We have 20, 21 and 22. And this is uh, how wide your face mask adapter is going to be, minus two chains, so from this point uh, to the end, um, you make your own as wide as uh, you need it to be. Uh, now for the first and only row, half double crochet in a third chain from the hook, so count your chains from the hook and in the third one half double crochet and just pick up uh, one loop of the chain just the one loop don't go through the middle of it and pick up two loops and yarn over and insert your hook and do your half double crochet and make a half double crochet in each of these chains until you have one left now we reach our last chain and in this last chain we're going to make three half double crochet and this will uh, bring the yarn over to the other side of the chain so after you make two move this uh, tail to the right and crochet over it just like that so make your half double crochet and uh, you can see now the yarn is on the other side of the chain so turn your work around and now we're going to crochet on this side by making a half double crochet in each of the chains so in each of these gaps right here I make one half double crochet And now you can see in that one chain we have two stitches. And half double crochet in each of these chains until you reach the end and I'll show you how to close at the end. And then slip stitch at the top of chain 2. So that chain 2 at the beginning slip stitch at the top one and this is how uh, it looks so far it's completed okay cut the yarn and then we are going to weave in the ends using our uh, darning needle 
so pull the yarn through i'll show you how to weave in your ends properly so you won't unravel when you wash it so what you do is go underneath these stitches these loops right here so go one way a few stitches then we go backwards but this time we go over and under and over again and then under and so on just a few stitches again and then again we go under the other loop over under over so basically just weaving like it says you weave in this end and it will not come out um, when you wash it and then cut the rest of the yarn and do the same on the other side this is how it looks like completed and now all you have to do is uh, use the two buttons and sew one at each end uh, like so I don't have a paper face mask uh, with elastic straps to show you how this uh, face mask adapter works like on it uh, because you just can't find them anywhere nowadays uh, but I will show you uh, how to use it on one of my crocheted masks and what you do is wrap the ear loops around each button behind your head and um, this is how it will look like so now i will show you how to uh, make your own yarn buttons in case you don't have any uh, in the house um, so we start by making a magic ring or an adjustable loop and in the magic ring we will make uh, eight half double crochet so chain one that doesn't count as a half double crochet and now make your eight half double crochet so we have five six and I'm making all in the magic ring seven and eight and this is how it looks like um, don't tighten the loop just yet leave it loose uh, what we're going to do now is slip stitch at the top of the first half double crochet and that will close our first round so this is the first uh, round completed we are not going to close the magic ring we're gonna leave this uh, hole in the middle for now and uh, what we're going to do in a second uh, round is crochet over these stitches with half double crochet so make 15 half double crochet inside this ring again yarn over insert your hook in that hole in the middle yarn over again and pull up a loose loop yarn over and pull through all these loops that you have on a hook and repeat the process and make 15 of this half double crochet so we have three and four five six seven eight nine 10 and you can just push them in a corner 11 12 13 14 and 15 and this is how it looks like so far and now um, we are going to slip stitch in the first stitch 
right here and slip stitch through and this is the second round completed um, now you can pull this tail and close the hole in the middle uh, I don't think it needs to be made bigger than that um, it will fit good over uh, but if you think you want to make it bigger you can do another round of the same uh, stitches over this round and I will make your button bigger but I think they are fine so now we're just going to pull this tail and it will close the hole like you see and this is how it will look like over so now all we have to do is cut the yarn pull it through we are going to weave in this end right here and the end from the magic ring will be used um, to sew the button to the crocheted piece I finished my two buttons and now I'm just going to use these uh, tails from the magic rings uh, to uh, sew them one at each end just like we did with the regular uh, plastic buttons and this is how it looks like uh, completed and you use it in the same way as um, we did with the regular buttons um, again I'll show you on one of my masks because I don't have a paper mask with elastic uh, straps uh, but basically it's the same you wrap your loop around uh, each button it will not come off um, and this will be behind your uh, head and it will uh, keep the strap secured and you can see there's not much uh, stretch in the uh, ear protector because it's made out of cotton and cotton is not really stretchy not like the acrylic yarn and this is how you make a face mask adapter with or without uh, any buttons.